action. Buongiorno. 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 My name is Mark Rogers. I am the director of the Da Vinci Machines and Michelangelo exhibitions for North America. But I am here today being delivered to you as an art media humogram, something that would have blown Da Vinci's socks off. But I'm only here for five minutes. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Most people know Da Vinci by the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, but we are here talking inventions today. Da Vinci's first passion in life was painting. His second passion was flight. He wanted to be able to fly like a bird. For the beginning of time, we've all wanted to fly like a bird. Da Vinci studied birds and bats and wings and flight patterns of all sizes and shapes and dimensions. This is Da Vinci's design that he came up with that closely mimicked a bird in flight. Is that exactly how you ever imagined it could be? But keep in mind, Da Vinci didn't have all the bugs worked out of all his inventions. He designed them, and his apprentices built them. This is Da Vinci's bat wing glider. You can tell it's in the shape of a bat wing, and you can tell how he theoretically thought it would operate. Da Vinci envisioned this operating by the glider pilot's head would go through the wing, and the glider pilot would hold on to either side and attempt to manipulate the wing in flight. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, yeah, right, huh? The artists of Florence actually have another name for this design in Italy. They call this design his decapitator. Because as soon as this thing hit the ground, your head came right off. This is the part of the show where the Renaissance meets up with Saturday Night Live. Because you know what we need for this design? Well, we need a few more volunteers. Because the first four or five didn't quite fare so well, if you know what I mean. But Da Vinci theorized, and he theorized correctly, that for man to fly and to fly safely as you do today, that your wings had to be parallel at all times to the horizon. Da Vinci designed the original inclimator. The inclimators on our boats and our planes are highly computerized with gyroscopes and lasers. But this very simple device would simply tell the glider pilot, look, your wings aren't parallel to the horizon make the correction. He designed it to be in a glass bell so it wouldn't be affected by wind currents and the glider pilot could see it in flight. He designed this to be on the glider in flight with the pilot. So at any time the glider pilot could look over, determine if his wings were or were not parallel and know to bring his wings back parallel to the horizon. In effect, do you know what this was? The first onboard instrumentation literally 500 years ahead of its time. This is Da Vinci's probably his most famous aerodynamic design. He called it his air screw. It is the predecessor to our modern day helicopters you know it today. You've seen this design a thousand times in commercials and cartoons but most people don't know how he actually intended this to operate. How he, invented, how he envisioned this operating is the men would stand on this platform, hold onto the bars, and literally run around in a circle in an attempt to air strip into the air like our present day helicopter. Hey, I got another question for you. Did this thing work? Well, of course it didn't work. There's a thousand reasons why we know it wouldn't have worked today. It was too heavy, the men would wear out. There's a thousand reasons. But the idea was, he was using manpower and air as an element to achieve and perform that function. Now, Da Vinci had absolutely no way of knowing this, but you can tell what he was thinking about at the time. He was trying to imagine and envision our internal combustion engines and our electric motors of today, to where that engine could be set up and sustained as a sustained long enough in order to perform this function. Think about this a minute. Can you imagine for a second if Leonardo da Vinci would have had a sustainable power source that he could have used to make and create his inventions with where we would all be today? Well, you know where we'd be today. We'd be 500 years ahead of ourselves. That's exactly where we would all be today. We spent a lot of time talking about da Vinci's inventions and we really haven't touched on his other works, but that's gonna have to wait for another day. Hey, I've been Mark Rogers. You've been absolutely great. 
and to scar the Da Vinci in you. Ciao, baby. Ciao. Cut.